Ben Platt's publicist reportedly cut an interview short after the actor was asked to comment on the Nepo Baby discourse. So this has been a whole thing that's been going on with a lot of this Nepo Baby thing, and I thought it'd be interesting to talk about it on here, so here we go. So the singer-songwriter and actor wasn't too happy to be asked his thoughts on the infamous 2022 New York Times cover story excuse me, which saw his and several other actors' heads superimposed on the bodies of babies with the headline, she has her mother's eyes and agent. Plato's best known for his role in the Broadway musical Dear Evan Hansen has become part of the months-long discourse over the Nepo Baby boom. For the uninitiated, Nepo Baby is short for Nepotism Baby, which typically refers to children of celebrities whose parents' own fame has to some extent contributed to their success in a related career. The actor who has been accused of being a Nepo Baby, thanks to his starring role in the 2021 film adaptation of Dear Evan Hansen, which people were like, well, the movie bombed. Number one, he was way too old to play that character in the film. His father also was a producer on the play. So, of course, they were like, you know, um, well, of course he got a leg up. I mean, he said he wrote the the, the, the thing and he came up with the character and all this stuff, which is great. But your father helped get that thing on Broadway. And I'm sure he used a lot of his connections to get people interested. But I'm sure because the play was good that caused word of mouth more people came on the show was successful in that way which if you're smart as a nepo baby which you should have did was like yeah my father is a producer he produced dear evan hansen he also produced other plays such as legally blonde so oh well actually it was the movie not the play because there is a broadway version of legally blonde but he pr produced the movie with you know um Oh my God, Reese Witherspoon. I don't know how I almost forgot her damn name. But um, yeah, so I would have, me as a Nepo baby, I'd have been like, yeah, my father did, you know, pull his, his strings and pull the connections and this that, and the other for the whole Nepo baby situation. You know, me being a Nepo baby, yeah, he pulled those connections to get Dear Evan Hansen up and running on Broadway. However, yes, your father can get you a foot, you help you get through the door. You have to walk through it, and you have to maintain staying in that room. You got to keep the people in the room. So I was like, yeah, my parents helped me get a leg up and get me in the room, but my talent is what kept me there. And if he was smart enough to understand the vernacular, or if his publicist would have prepared him, I feel like he would have had a better answer for it. But we're going to get to what he said in a second. But I just feel like, for me, I would be embracing my, my nepotism. Because it's hard to get in this business just being a regular person. But if I was in a position like, like I said, like Ben Platt, my thing would have just been like, I would have just used this as an opportunity. To be like, yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, you can get a couple of your father's industry friends to come see this play. But if after six weeks, people ain't coming, they got to close. So it's considered a failure. But the fact of the matter is that Dear Evan Hansen was a huge hit on Broadway and won a lot of Tony Awards. So clearly this kid has got something. And he is talented. So, um... I don't know why he didn't just say that, but I guess maybe he didn't have the vernacular to word that. So, um, and he was 27 at the time when he shot, the, when he was trying to play a high school singer. But you know what? Hollywood been doing that for years. I've been hiring 30-year-olds, 35-year-olds. Uh, wasn't Gabrielle Carteris damn near 40 when she was playing Andrea on 90210? But anyway, so other major Hollywood stars at the center of the Nepo Baby discourse include face of um, Chanel Number no. 5 and the idol star Lily Rose Depp, who is the daughter of actor Johnny Depp and model Vanessa Paradis. American Horror Story's Emma Robertson, who is niece of A-list to Julia Roberts, and her father is... Um... Oh my God, how did I forget his name? Um, why, was I, why am I thinking John Roberts? Eric Roberts, that's her father. Mad Max Fury Road's Zoe Kravitz, who was the daughter of Lenny Kravitz and Lisa Bonet. Nicolas Cage, who was the nephew of Francis Ford Coppola, the director, and a cousin of director directors Roman Coppola and Sofia Coppola. More notable names in the biz of acting, modeling, and music with the Nepo Baby status include Dan Levy, Willow and Jaden Smith, Maud Apatow, Gwyneth Paltrow and Apple Barton, Lourdes Leone, uh, Robert Downey, that Robert Downey Jr. and Timothy Chalamet. And it's funny. At one point, we had two Nepo babies dating each other. We had Timothy Chalamet. I remember when he was first coming up in the industry, he was dating um Lourdes, Madonna's daughter. I wonder how that went down. 
Plant, who um, was asked how he feels about being a Nepo baby in an exclusive interview with Rolling Stone on Friday, July the 14th, to which he responded by saying he would skip right over. We would he would skip right over the question. We're gonna skip right over that if we can, Platt said to the interviewer, to which they replied, no comment. Platt's publicist then reportedly interviewed um, intervened and asked the reporter to focus on his new comedy film, Theater Camp, which Platt was promoting. Excuse me. A few questions later, and the publicist then intervened again, cutting the would-be 45-minute interview in half and giving the reporter just one more question, which they dedicated to a question about his recent engagement. Because he's um, engaged to, um, oh my God, what's his name? Noah Galvin, I believe is his name, um, who was on that um I mean, what was that show? The the real O'Neills, I believe he was on that show. So yeah, they're engaged. The last time I saw um Noah Galvin and Ben Platt, they were at the um the Tony Awards when the producer got up on stage and was like, Thank you, um, Roro for putting up Eric. But um when they were uh, when the producer on stage said this F A G G blank blank won um the award for you know won all you know won an award because they used to call him the F word in high school and instead of those somebody wasn't gonna make nothing they was up in there like yeah yeah you know that was them up there that's the last time I seen them on TV but um to me I feel like when you refuse to engage in the question around nepotism it's really gonna like I feel like it's gonna put more of a target on your back just you know just embrace it I feel like people who haven't there are a few people who have embraced their um nepo baby syn- you know nepo baby syndrome the nepo baby status um john david washington who is the son of denzel washington eats it up and embraces it we have um there was another actress that i just had in my head um who is the daughter of ethan hawk maya hawk ethan hawk and um Oh my God! Why am I? I'm I'm forgetting names today. Um, Beatrix Kiddo from freaking Kill Uma Thurman. So their daughter, um, Maya Hawk, was on Stranger Things. She eats it up like you know the kids understand. Like you have Kevin Bacon and Kira Cedric's daughter Sosi. She's an actress. You know there there's a lot of nepo babies that's going around, and a lot of them embrace it. A lot of them eat it up. And when you run from it, it's only going to put more of a target on your back. So I say all this to say because I kind of gave my opinion earlier enough in the show, and I want to repeat myself. But Ben Platt, grow a pair, embrace it. Eat it up, move on, because people are gonna continue to throw this shit in your face and tease you if you just try to act like it's a 